So usually camera traps are mainly used to see what happens when we are not here. Uh, the main location where we use camera traps because of the environment we live in is water holes. Water holes, especially in the dry season, attract a lot of animals, at least all the water dependent species, need to come and drink sometimes daily, sometimes every few days, but regularly. So those, those water holes are basically the perfect place to deploy those camera traps. If you want to know what do you have, what, what species you have on your reserve or in the national park, when do they come to drink, what is the group size of composition of how many males, how many females, how they interact with each other, if you want to know what happens when an elephant arrives at a water hole and how the other species behave. So those are really um, a very good, um, very good tool to use. What we actually figured out here is that usually what, um, what people do when they do water hole counts to look at the, popul the population of animals, they deploy human people at water hole for like 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. That's a long time to be sitting at the water hole, monitoring constantly what is happening. The problem is when you reach the middle of the night, basically between midnight and 7 a.m., human observers are usually tired, it's very dark, so they don't see very well, and cameras are doing a much better job than us actually at counting at that time of the, year, of the, the, the night. So what now uh, we do at uh, Anungava is that human observers are deployed at those water holes, 72 hours, 96 hours, but at night between, seven, uh, between midnight sorry, and 7 a.m., those observers can rest and then the cameras take over. So it's kind of human work with cameras. For now, we've been, we have a camera trap data sets of about nine, just under nine million images, classified images. So that's including all the pictures of us deploying the cameras uh, or the empty pictures or flock of quillias. Um, so that, that's, that's a lot of pictures basically since 2009. That database is uh, safely stored at, at ORC and that is something that we are actually willing to share with anyone who would need that kind of data to answer specific questions.